First and foremost, I want to give all praises and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai. Brakatho Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Raka Kwadash. Give double honors to our apostles of Great Minstone who taught us this truth, and to our sincere brothers on the highways and byways, risking their lives, and to our sincere brothers and sisters supporting this ministry. Shalom. Yes, I want to talk about preparing the mind and spirit through prayer. As you know, right, we have to pray to our Heavenly Father on a daily basis because we need prayer, as you all know. We are in the last, last days now. The last days. And I'm going to bring up some... To prove that we're in the last days, I'm going to bring up some scriptures. There's other scriptures that could be brought out. But I'm going to bring up a couple of scriptures here to prove that we're in the last days. And being in the last days, we need that support. We need that comforter. And how to get comfort is to study the word and to pray. Pray is powerful. Praying to our Heavenly Father is power. Right? So let me go to Luke 21, 25 to 36. And there shall be signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars and upon the earth distress of nations with perplexity the sea and the waves roaring, men's heart failing them, for fear and for looking after those things which are coming on the earth. For the powers of heaven shall be shaken. Verse 27. And then shall they see the Son of Man. Oh, so you see, you don't want to have. Or be in that position when Yahweh Bashan Yahshai returns with your pants down. Right? In other words, with your guard down. You have to be prepared to the best of your ability. Because we are in this flesh. But we need to prepare our mind and our spirit. Okay? We have to fight against this flesh. That is constantly putting us down. Verse 27. And then shall they see the Son of Man. And you know who the Son of Man is? Shai, Coming in the cloud with power and great glory. And when these things begin to come to pass. Then look up and lift up your heads. For your redemption draweth nigh. Alright. So we know things are happening. Things are getting worse and worse, right? Because when we be cast into prison, famine of the word, okay, the RFID chip is presented, we know redemption draweth nigh. Okay, so we have to prepare ourselves, all right? And Yahweh Shai prepared himself, right? He wanted strength, right? Because it's not of ourselves. We can't do things on our own, brothers and sisters. Verse 29. And he spake to them a parable. Behold the fig tree and all the trees. When they now shoot forth, ye see and know of your own selves that summer is now nigh at hand. You see, it's just like the seasons. When we're in summertime and we know that, um, or the other way around, when we're in winter and when uh, when, when summer approaches, you can see that the, 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 the flowers are blossoming um, and the trees, the, 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 tree, the leaves are starting to blossom, right? Okay? So you see the signs. So what you do, you prepare yourself, okay? So you start to take away, you start to gradually um, 
chisel off those winter clothing and you started to put on thinner clothing. Yes? Right? Okay, because you're preparing yourself for that time to come, for the summer. Verse 31. So likewise, ye when ye see these things come to pass, know ye that the kingdom of Yahweh is nigh at hand. You see? You see the example? Right? The seasons... Okay, you know the seasons are coming. It's the same preparation. You have to prepare your heart and your mind and your spirit for, for the Most High's return. Okay, verily I say unto you, this generation shall not pass away till all fulfilled. Right, and you can still think it's being fulfilled because it's said in the, it's said, you know, right. The book, the holy book said that we must watch out for the signs. We have to watch out the signs and the seasons. Right? Heaven and earth shall pass away, but my word shall not pass away. Okay? So what Yahweh Sham Yahweh is from the beginning, that would follow right through to the middle, and it would follow right through to the end. And take heed to yourselves, lest any time your hearts be over charge with with surfeiting right and drunkenness all right and when you say surfeiting surfeiting i'm sorry for pronouncing it wrong is to to be in excess right excessiveness and drunkenness and cares of this life and so that day come upon you unawares you don't want that to happen that's why we need to prepare ourselves. Okay? We need to pray to Yahweh Ba'asham Yahushai. Because listen, brothers and sisters, it's all in good we come to body, we come together as one body. But remember, it's still an individual um, procedure. Right? Because when you go home and you close your door, your house, you are alone with Yahweh. It's between you and Yahweh Ba Sham Shai. Okay? When you're praying, right? Not like these hypocrites where they pray in a crowd, right? To let everyone see that they're praying in a crowd. No, when it's you and uh, with Yahweh Ba Sham Shai alone, right? Um, verse 35 For as a snare, shall it come on all them that dwell on the face of the earth whole earth watch thee therefore and pray you see what i'm saying again it's a beautiful thing to pray to yahweh basham yahushai right i remember yahweh shai is our intercessor yes he intercedes our prayer with the holy spirit right that's why when you pray to the Most High, you must ask the Heavenly Father, right, to hear your prayer via His Son. You cannot pray to the Most High directly. It has to be via, through the Holy Spirit and through Yahweh Shai, right? Because when you're praying to Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Ba'asham Yahweh Shai, there's so many things that you want to say you forget. And you know what? Because the Most Yahweh Shai knows our heart. All glory be to Yahweh Ba'asham Yahushai. Watch ye therefore and pray always that ye may be accounted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass and to stand before the Son of Man. You see, when it's not, we have to prepare ourselves. You hear what I said in the heading? Preparing the mind and spirit through prayer. That's what we need to do. That's what it's all about. Having that personal relationship with Yahweh Ba'asham Yahushai. Okay? When these Christians talk about how they love to have a per I have a personal relationship with, 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 with Jesus. Right? And Christ. And God. Listen, their kind of personal relationship is different because they're still eating the pork. They're not following the high holy days. They're still following Easter and Christmas and birthdays. You name it. Okay? That's what these damn Christians are doing. Right? Okay. So remember that. Okay? So you want to, to come to... So therefore, 
all these things shall come to pass and to stand before the son of man so you want to stand before the son of man in 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 a in a in a in a perfect way we're not going to be perfect so like it by saying perfect we never be, but to our best of ability because the most high knows our heart he knows that we've tried right okay and i tell you something that's why we need a prayer okay we should be praying earnestly right for the angels to strengthen us that's why we need to pray okay so when we pray earnestly to Yahweh Basham Yashai, okay, the angels come upon us, right, to give us a strength. And you know what? I'm going to prove that because Yahweh Basham, Yahweh Shai prayed to the Most Heavenly Father, right, for strength, okay? And I'm going to bring that in, um, in Luke 22, um, 41 to 45. And it says, and he was withdrawn from them about a stone's cast and kneeled down and prayed, saying, Father, if thou be willing, remove this cup from me. Nevertheless, not my, not my will, but, by, but thine be done. And there appeared an angel unto him, from heaven strengthening him so what i'm trying the point is what i'm trying to say to you is that we need to pray it's not of ourselves okay we need to get that 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 that, that power from yahweh basham yashai send the angels down to us to give us strength right and being in agony he prayed more earnestly and his sweat what was as it were great drops of blood falling down from the ground and when he rose up from the prayer and was come to his disciples he found them sleeping for sorrow and said unto them why sleep so why sleep right rise and pray you see that word again pray lest ye enter into temptation so that's what it is brothers and sisters. we want to be made um correct if you understand what i'm saying right we want to be made um you know, you know, uh, quite in a in a in a good in in a good stead. Basically, when Yahweh Basham Shai comes, we must get up and not sleep, and we need to pray for t into you know, so we don't enter into that hour of temptation because that hour of temptation is coming soon, coming soon because Yahweh Basham Shai is on his way, right? Okay, so that's what it's all about, right? Right? It's not about, um, you know, as a group. We all one body. We must help each other, right? Because listen up, we're in the last days now. It's not about being Mr. Know All and Mr. Higher Mighty and Mr. Want to. It's nothing about that. Okay? It's nothing about that. We must exalt one another, help each other, right? Because that day is coming soon. I'm going to bring a scripture now to prove that it's coming soon. And we must, as brothers, we must help each other, exalt one another. Right? Forget about me being Mr. Mutton number one, no, number two, and number three, and number. No, listen, we must follow order. Order has to be followed first and foremost. But we are in the last days now. Come off that high and mighty style, yes? Because we are to exalt one another. High and low. We are all one body. Right? And I'm going to get that in Hebrews 10 24. Hebrews 10 24. Uh, to 25 and let us consider one another to provoke unto love and to good works okay not forsaking and assembling of ourselves together as the manner of some is but exhorting one another and so much the more as ye see the day approaching right we are in the end times now, brothers and sisters. We are in the end times. So we are should be in a different stage now. A different spiritual stage. Okay? Praying. Helping each other. Right? Because some brothers are stronger. Right? If you are a man of the Lord, you should know better. So we must help each other. Look after each other. Support each other. Because the day is at hand. Because the day is approaching. So with that, Shalom.